125 400 super sports now this is the ninth race on the calendar six is that familiar yellow helmet of ian locker being crowded off the start line well what a busy grid that was indeed Gavin Lee's here again on a 1-2-5. Dave Madsen, McNeil, Glenn English, Alan Bud Jackson, lots of people to look out for. And mostly 1-2-5 Hondas, smattering of 400s. And 18 is Glenn English leaning on Ian Locker as they went around the corner. But Locker holds it in the lead. Glenn English gets past him after they've gone over the line. And Locker now coming up. Well, this is 1-2-5 racing. And this is the name of the game. It's all about staying in the draft, using the slipstream of the man in front of you and keeping that thing right up. Get the revs as high up as you can get them and keep them there. Really with one, two, five, he who backs off the least is the one who comes out of it as the winner. Very fast corner speeds as well, remember. Small, light, agile machines probably carry their corner speed better than anything else you will see. Even on a road course, they'll be quicker in the turns than the 400s, 600s and 750s. Still Glenn English on the Paget Honda. Looks behind him and Locker looks behind him, but there's no one there. These two have stormed away. Gavin Lee is third, but it is what you might call a distant third as English gets his head down. Locker riding in his wheel tracks. And look behind them, the road is empty. These two very much in a class of their own. Not a sight of third place or fourth even Nigel McCullough, Tommy Diver and Alan Jackson in sixth. But that's a long way back down the road. Number eight is Gavin Lee in third place. And behind him, 39, Nigel McCullough. Well, he's in touch still, but that doesn't really look like a battle. This does look like a battle, though. And it was Glenn English holding on to second place. Gavin Lee just failed to nobble that second place on the line. 